and hello everyone welcome back to a new video all right so so here we have a new button i'm not even going to name this button. i'm just going to say delete because we're going to learn how to delete some records now i did change the database we're using because the previous database had more than one table in it and those two tables were linked and it just causes a lot of problems if you try and delete one thing from it so we are going to work with a database that has only one specific table in it and today the table i'm using is a uh, whatever is in visual arts at mdb i can unfortunately access it because i don't have access but this is whatever is inside of it you can see it's basically the same thing they really change too much here just the connection string i changed where to find the new file and then i also just changed what table it's using in this case it's art competition entries so yeah now let's get to deleting now since we have already learned about insert and edit deleting is pretty easy so what we're going to do is we're going to get input from the user for example the id we want to delete for example let's say we want to delete id 1 which is risa then we can just delete it if the user asks it so what we got to do is we got to go variable Okay, so we got the user input. Now, right up here, I still have a previous code, which we can actually work off with. So we have a with here, and it's basically going to stay the same. We're still going to use a with. So, with dmcon do. Then remember the locate we used, which basically, if you can remember, it just finds whatever is in here inside of this thingy so in the previous one it would have been owner id and it's going to search for the id in this case we're going to say learner number and it's going to search for the learner number so we can just go if tbl music dot locate ooh, whoopsie dot locate very basic <clears throat> so first let's code the else because it's basically going to stay the same Never mind. and then in here we can go like in the previous ones we had a state we had to put it in before we do it but basically what's going to happen is the cursor is going to go to whichever one at two, for example, let's say 10. We're going to go there and we're going to put it in state delete and it's going to delete that row. Easy as that. We don't have to tell it to do anything. Once it goes into the delete state, it deletes whatever it is on at that moment, in which case it would be one because we're going to ask it to delete one. So, tbl music dot delete with that. Oh my crap, what am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Dot delete, please. Okay, so that's just going to delete it. And if it did delete that, then we should just go show message deleted record. There we go. So let's quickly test it out and then we'll explain more on it. Okay, so we're going to try and delete one, which is one riser. Uh, okay, yeah, all of that. Delete one deleted record. Okay, great. And then let's try and delete 10, which is Megan. 10. It deleted a record. Now let's try and delete something that doesn't exist, like one. Learner number not found. 
it works perfectly. So let's go for it. First we get user input and then we make sure it's an integer because we are working with the primary key which is in this case a number. So then we say if you find wherever that number is inside of whoopsie inside here if you find the number here then you should delete it the, the even if even if it's the state it's still going to delete it because once it enters the state it's just going to be okay i don't need to have anything else i just gotta delete it unlike with edit or insert where you have to actually add some data here you don't need to so it just deletes it and it shows the message otherwise if it can't find it it says can't find now you might be wondering why didn't we go tblmusic.post because we have been doing it in the past two tutorials well this is because once it deletes something it just posts automatically because it doesn't need to know when to stop inserting or stop editing you know it just knows as soon as it says delete it just it just got to delete it doesn't need any extra information unlike with these where I tell it what I want to insert and then after I tell it what I want to insert I say post that new new stuff you know but you can still run it and see how it works but of course I grade is declared whenever you no 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 can't create oh wait never mind boop I forgot to close that so you can run it And remember now there's a post there. So we're going to try and delete two. Now it's still going to delete two, take note, but it's going to give us an error because it's not in edit or insert mode, which means it doesn't know what to post. It can't post anything. So you can have it there, just know that you are going to get an error and you're not gonna like the error. So we can delete it. And that's how you delete something from a database. Pretty easy if you just get started with it and later on we'll get maybe get deeper into it. But for right now, I think this is all you need to know. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video and learned something new about it. See you all in the next video.